You're listening to Career Ready, and I'm Coach K. Getting you ready for your corporate career. There is one commonality that I've found working with my clients. I have found that often they don't realize what they do have. They focus so much on what they think they know or what they believe potential employers are looking for that they fail to realize that they probably already have these skills. These skills might not have been developed in a formal corporate environment, but it was still structured enough that the environment allowed them nonetheless to learn and gain these valuable skills. So discovering what you do have is a great exercise to do when you're entering the job market for the first time. I'd like you to take some time to really think about the activities that you've been involved in from your senior years in school through to your tertiary education. Let's take some time to have a look at four examples to help you get going in this exercise. Example A. Were you a prefect, head girl, or even captain of a team? Use this role to highlight your leadership qualities, your teamwork ability, communication skills, or even your ability to empathize with others while ensuring that the rest of the team is functioning optimally. Example B. Did you participate in any team sports, and did you get provincial or national colors? Well, then you can use this role to highlight your collaboration skills, your good work ethic, your attention to detail in becoming a decorated athlete, because all of these skills will demonstrate that you are result oriented. Example D. Did you volunteer at your local community center or maybe even an SPCA? What value did you bring to the team organization? Did you just show up every day to be there? Or did you help them to recognize certain inefficiencies in their processes and fix those? Did you maybe reorganize their storage, for instance? Because those are all process optimization. Volunteering work is always different, but use that time to learn a new skill or to add value in a way that is actually meaningful to the organization. An example E. Were you a part of any campus groups, maybe SRC or any other type of social committee? Use this role to demonstrate that you would have gained at the very least organizational skills, time management, critical thinking, relationship building, communication skills, data collecting, and even analysis. Okay, so now that we've run through a couple of examples, perhaps some of them don't really necessarily speak to you or resonate with you. So how else will you know what to add onto your CV for experience? Here are seven things that you can look out for to help you identify that very experience. Number one is anything that consumed your time. Number two, anything that required you to produce an output from that time. Number three, anything that demonstrates your ability to create. Number four, anything that demonstrates your ability to critically think and solution for a problem. Number five, Anything that demonstrates your ability to communicate and work in a team successfully. Number six, anything that demonstrates how you were key or instrumental in the functioning and the success of the team. And number seven, anything that was awarded to you, provided that you are able to translate that award to a story that gives context to your skills and personal branding. I'm hoping that now that we've started the exercise for you guys to really scrutinize what you have done. And also that we've just looked at seven elements that you can use to tick off and identify what you can add onto your CV for experience, that it's starting to make a lot more sense what experience actually means for you as a student or a graduate. And that it is relevant experience that you need, not necessarily formal experience. So please stop stressing yourselves about what am I going to put on my CV? What am I going to talk about in my interview if I've never worked in a formal corporate environment before? It is not necessary. Look to your history, look to what you have done and use that in your personal branding story. See you guys tomorrow. That's it from me today. Thank you so much for joining. You can continue the conversation with me on LinkedIn by following my hashtag QM Career Coaching or on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, as well at Hello Coach K. Or if you prefer, you can send me an email at info at hellocoachk.com. See you next time.